we made it to uh, Maine and we got our first campground. And uh, what was kind of crazy is when we put in campgrounds, of course we don't make any uh, reservations. We put in campgrounds and this one didn't even come up. Uh, we'll let that car go by. Uh, this one didn't even pop up, but uh, it's a cool little campground, Yellowstone Park Campground. Um, it's small. It's not really that big. A little tight, but hey, it does. When we pulled in. We really, they didn't have any lots. Uh, I think what we're doing is we just came off of the 4th of July. Um, you know, everybody going on vacation 4th of July, and there's a lot of people still in the campground, so... Uh, we had a hard time finding this one, but uh, they made room for us, and uh, we got back in the tent section, which we don't mind at all, and uh, it's actually pretty comfortable back here. Uh, doesn't have a lot of electricity, but it has enough to run our air conditioner and a charger in the little uh, box trailer camper, so it works out pretty good for us. It worked out great, actually. We're a nice, pe peaceful lot, and... Uh, Here's the main office. I'm going to show you guys around just a little bit. Now, the campground um, definitely is a pretty cool little place to go. I mean, one thing about it, the people are friendly. Goodness, they're really friendly people. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, the, the the young lady that's running the place here I just want to take her with me and uh, she can know uh, she's really good about telling you where to go to eat of course she sent us to the uh, firehouse uh, restaurant and we went down there and ate and I had a lobster roll which was really good and uh, I think I did a short on that video I did a short on that little restaurant if you guys haven't seen it I'm sure you can go to my shorts and check it out. Now, uh, this place has a pool. It looks like a brand new pool. Really nice pool. Real nice. Now, a lot of the campers here in this isn't this campground. A lot of them are here all year round. They don't move their campers. Sort of like a place we call Big Bear back in my area. But um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know if there's more than 100 lots in here. I don't think. There might be close, but I don't know. Now, they have a courtyard over here. And last night, they had a uh, cornhole competition. Which everybody in the campground gets to precipitate if they want. And they have a fire ring and stuff. They have a nice little waterfall over here, which is a little pond and waterfall. It's pretty cool. I like it. Now, the, like I said, the staff here is very, very uh, good. Because they knew everything about everything. Anything we needed help with, they was, they was ready to help us. So we're going to walk down to the bathhouse. Bathhouse is definitely a little, a little different than what we're used to. But we're going to walk down and check it out. Okay, this is the women's side of the bathhouse. So you got a women's and a men, and they're both separated. Then over here, I'm going to take you over here, we have the men's side. Now, everything in here is really clean. It smells good. It doesn't stink. Uh, it smells good. It's been clean. So, And that's a good thing about uh, coming to uh, a campground when you don't have uh, the shower and the commode in your camper which we have the little potty but we really don't use we use it to pee if you have to julie does so this is the pretty weird thing about this place is they you pay to take a shower now I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that it's okay to pay to take a shower the only thing is is they give you about eight minutes uh to get that in there and get in there and take a shower well, if you you got to come out here with you know uh, and put your quarter in, and then go back in there and take a shower. But if you're unchanging, you put your quarter in there and you unchange, it takes up a bunch of your time, and the shower's not you know you're not getting your. So you have to reach back out of here and put another quarter in there so you can rinse off. That's okay, but I would rather pay them instead of paying fifty cents. I'll give you two bucks 
take a shower and let me use as much water as I want and I guarantee you I won't use as much as you use on that machine but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that so that's the shower house like I said it is clean I've used it quite a few times and I think they even have a handicap one over here so you got another this one here is for handicap Probably a little higher commode. And then of course over here you have your grab bars and stuff. That's the shower. And the same thing with this. As you put in your quarter, there's the instructions on how to do it. Pretty simple. Now they do have a little laundromat here too. You can do your clothes and stuff. So you got a book if you want to read a book while you're doing your laundry. It's pretty cool. I like the bathhouse. Bathhouse is okay. The only problem with it is it's up in here where everybody has sewage. It's not back in the back where the people that don't have sewage need it. These people all here have showers and commodes in their camper and they're all hooked to sewage. But it's probably was convenience for building that's okay uh, another thing they tell you is they don't want you walking through other people's lots so there's only like one road coming in and out on that other side so you have to walk all the way down this aisle go all the way back down and then go back into your campground where you're staying where I'm staying anyhow and I guess that's okay cuz Lord knows we need our exercise so we're gonna head back to the camp where I'm at and I'm going to show you our little lot where we're set up it's nothing like this up here check this out this guy pulled in last night it's just an old bus and it's got a lot of solar panels up on the top of it I wish they were up moving around I'd ask them to take a peek be nice to get on video maybe later if we see them we'll ask them if we could do some type of video but we're gonna go back here in the back see I'm way back here way back last out Julie and I we're in the tent section which only has electric and that's all we need but we're away from all the hustle and bustle too there's not a lot of kids not a lot of people walking around so this is where Julie and I are. This is where we're at in the campground back in the back. Forced lane. Now these camp back in here are all for like uh, tents if you want to pitch a tent. And they do have electric here. Just in case you want to use your phone charger or fan or or whatever. But it's like I said it's not it's only like 15 amps. And uh we only run one thing at a time when we run it. But it don't take much to run our camper because, don't forget the camper's all 12 volt besides that. Well, we got a microwave and an air conditioner. We just use them separate times. So this up back here. So we're in lot 75 and uh, it's just a nice quiet lot. Nobody's around this uh, this weekend, nobody's here. So we got it all to ourselves back in here. I think there's some people over there, but that camper's empty. Just snug as a little bug in a rug. So it's a good little place for a couple days and then we'll be moving on. Uh, we're hoping to go see some lighthouses here shortly. And then, uh, we're going to start heading back. We don't know what we're going to get into on the way back, but uh, we'll see. We don't know. We don't usually make any plans, so we can go anywhere we want and do anything we want. So uh, that's the campground.